So I guess we're streaming now, and I'll be showing you a little bit more about Crocodile 3D. Just gotta set some up, some things up right now. Let people know that I'm streaming. Okay, so this time I was thinking about what I could show and I feel like I could try and take some pre-existing artwork, some tiles, tile sets that other people have made and then I could kind of try and convert them or use them in Crocodile and we'll see how that goes, okay? So what I'm going to do is I went to I went to open game art as you can see here and I took a look through their 2D art looking at their tile sets and that sort of stuff and, and what you could find here is like uh, free art that you could use and I found this one by CERT and it's public domain and then I also chose this other one by Dragon D Platino. And it's, uh, the license is Creative Commons 4.0. Okay, so you could go there and find some artwork. And basically, what I'm going to try and do is use that, convert it into like a 3D crocodile scene type of thing, like I did with this. Well, I made this tile set, but I'm gonna use some of the some other people's art just to make it a little bit quicker and a little fun, I guess. Okay, so first of all, let's take a look at those um, pieces of art. I guess the first one we could look at is this one right here. So here's all the tiles and graphics and things. All separated out on this side over here and the perspective of it is from the side view and it's just the side view so that it's pretty that that, that makes it a bit simpler to uh, work with because it doesn't it doesn't have like a, a perspective to it like in the case of this other one where you're seeing both the side and the top for example look at this building right here you have like these, uh, ang you have this angled roof, and then you get the front of it, and you have stuff like overlapping other things, and it makes it a little bit more difficult to work with in 3D because, in this case, with the 2D uh, graphics here, they're trying to convey the 3D uh, dimension, you know, in a 2D way. Okay, so anyways, we're gonna work with that and we're going to try and figure out what to do with it. First of all, let's open the scene. I just it's a new scene that we have right, that we have right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a tile set. And I'm going to pick the tile set and now it's like imported, okay? So here we have it. It's kind of positioned weird <laughs> because we have like this scene all laid out right here and then we have all the tiles over here so whatever but if we choose a tile oh yeah that's another thing I'm gonna have to do I'm gonna have to reorganize the position of everything so that the tiles line up because as you can see right here it's not selecting the tile where it should be right okay so but I guess we gotta fix that Okay, so first of all, let's see what we can do. I guess we could just select all of this and then go into the paint tab. And then we could just select everything. This right here. And then kind of like cut it out, and then we could 
move it over to the side just so that it aligns with the grid. I think that's about right. I can turn on the grid just so that let's see a little bit. Yeah, it's all aligned there. Okay. So if we go back into the tile set now we could we could uh, select these tiles better. Okay, so from here you can just like select and start placing stuff. If I wanted to place the tile right there and then place it on top of it. Maybe I could like rotate the way that the tile is so that like the highlights are on the same side and maybe do something like that or maybe like that something like that I guess I could take a look at uh, this image over here and kind of get an idea as to how the artist planned um, planned things out, how they composed the pieces. So that might help me uh, with deciding how I could place the tiles in the 3D scene because he designed uh, these darker tiles, this darker brick texture to kind of go behind stuff kind of like in the background so I can kind of use that towards the back of things I could adjust my grid rounding value to be a little bit larger so that I could measure things out a bit better so I could like place some there and then Maybe do something like that. Then you could have some smaller pieces. Basically build things up like that. And I could also create my own tiles, you know, if there's like something missing, because this is only from the side, the side view. So like, what about the top view, you know? What about if I'm facing down? There's like no tile for like the floor, you know? Like for example, if I used um, something like this on the side and I put it like right right uh, where where should I put it right here like if I if I did that I don't have any tile that goes right here 
So what should we do about that? I guess I could like select this area and then go into paint mode. And then I can just kind of like select uh, this spot here and then maybe um, sample this color right there and then fill that in. And then I could uh, select that tile, place it down right there. But I could also add more detail to that. So let's see here. We could select that stuff and then deselect that. Change the brush size so I could get a little bit more detail in there. Maybe select some of these colors and be draw it right there or maybe it should be drawn on the other side which side is that or maybe over to the it's kind of weird but whatever <clears throat> so we have I don't know why it's like that that's weird why'd they do that they put like the, the 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 crack of the brick not next to the uh, edge, whatever. I'll put it next to the edge just because it makes it um, look m more uh, aligned with the grid, you know. Maybe put some lines there and maybe some lighter colors just to kind of blend it a bit so now when we look over here it's like this floor and you could add whatever details you want to it you know and then you could just place it so that's kind of cool and maybe you want to get more uh, interest uh, more um, what should I what's the word <laughs> I can't think of the word anyways like the towels that I'm using are just from the side and so I have to create other towels for the other angles the other directions if I need them so I can maybe copy, I can maybe copy this and then adjust the colors of it. So let's do that. I could uh, take the selection tool here and then maybe select a bunch of these just so that I have, you know, that sort of thing. And I can just place it right there. Hold control to kind of snap it to the grid and place it down. And then I could um, I could select those and then use the bucket tool. And let's see how am I gonna do this? I guess I'll just use that color for that. I'll change that so that it's like that and now it'll fill in all the colors sample that color make those that color and then I'll just kind of work up towards the lighter values Should it be blue? I don't know. It's kind of. Mm. Let's just go with that for now. See how that looks. 
<laughs> I could always change the colors later, right? I mean, you don't have to shade it like that. You could just use like some dynamic lighting if you're gonna do that. If you're gonna Im import it into some other program, you know. But whatever. I kind of like the unlit, um, just flat type of look that you get with this sort of style. I think I'm gonna change that color though. Let's see, we have the palette up here. So that'll give me a bit more idea. Also look and see how it looks over there. The palette's really limited, so I mean you don't have to limit yourself to specific colors if you don't want to. That looks all right, I guess. There we go. I think I'll stay with that. And maybe we'll uh, copy this over to over here, maybe. Just gonna quickly uh, kind of shade this a little bit. I guess that's all right. <laughs> I could hold Alt and right click a tile to kind of eye drop the, the tile and, and make the tile brush have the same UVs as the tile that you've eye dropped. So I could like go over here, hold Alt, right click, and now my tile brush uses that texture, that portion of the texture. And I can do it over here, you know, like that, just to quickly get things that I've already used. And then I could also apply it to the to other tiles that are in the scene like that by holding Alt and left clicking. Those tiles look kind of weird.
anyways let's select this over here maybe put that there it's kind of cool click the vertice to align the 3d crosshair to it to quickly align stuff this there maybe put that there maybe that there as you can see here there's like transparent parts to the tile So there's like some uh, architecture structure that's trying to be conveyed in the 2D form. We could try and translate that into some 3D form if we wanted to. We can kind of like cut these pieces out. I can show you how to do that really quick. Let's see here. I can select these. Hit the middle mouse button. I think Shift Enter also does it. Yeah. So that puts you in this um, active edit mode. So only these tiles can be edited at the moment because it's green. But it also has this yellow line. And what you could do here is kind of split the tile wherever the line is. And you could adjust it so that it could be more um, precise with the placement of it or you could adjust that to kind of move it at like a certain number of pixels but that seems to work so I'll just you could right click and then go to faces and then split and that'll split it the tile into two or you could also hold alt and shift to do the same thing so I'll split it there and there and there and maybe I'll also split it there and there just to cut those transparent bits off and then I can exit out of that and I could deselect that and then maybe select these and delete those and then I could maybe select these Actually, hmm. yeah, I'll select that and then I'll kind of shift them back, but not that far back. Maybe two pixels. Maybe that amount looks okay to me. Looks okay to me. So now there's a little bit of depth to it, some actual 3D depth, and it's not just being conveyed in the 2D form. Also, now we have to figure out how to do these top edges and bottom edges. And hmm, let's figure that out. I'm just going to select over here, maybe over there. And then I'll zoom in. And I guess I'll just. Hmm, so I'll use that color. I don't know. Maybe I'll draw some pixels there. I can just fill in this whole tile, I guess. Oops. And then maybe I'll fill in another tile over here. Just so that'll work. Now I have like this darker value that I could like use underneath stuff. Like that. And put it there and then 
and select this other tile. Look down, put it like that. So now we have like this this edge and tile stuff going on. So that's kind of cool. And you can notice like there's a little bit of a little bit of the edges are bleeding through. You can see those little pixels there on the edge of it. And I think that's because um, could be could be because because of the um, let me take a look here because the uh, pixels neighbor other pixels that are more contrasty and so sometimes neighboring pixels can kind of bleed through a little bit so if we have that there hmm. That like goes into like more how to lay out your UVs and that sort of thing. That might be a little too much to do right now, <laughs> especially since I'm using a pre-made tile set and everything's already laid out in, across the entire thing. So whatever. Could take, uh, I could select this tile and then just like copy and paste it, then mirror it, reverse it, rotate it. Boom, we have a corner there now. I could do it with other ones as well. Position the, cr the crosshair on the corner of it and then. <clears throat> Copy paste, mirror, reverse face, rotate. Boom, we have a corner there. Look at that. Then we could do it for the other side here. You could just go, go do, select that, select that. Actually, hmm. Yeah, I guess it'll work. Just copy paste, reverse, I mean mirror, reverse, and then rotate. Boom, there it is. Got another corner. That's pretty simple. So, you know, like when you get used to the shortcut keys, you can just do stuff pretty simply. And then, uh, let's see here. Let's put some tiles up here, maybe. Maybe some, maybe some tiles underneath there. Hey, Sam, Sambar, how you doing? Okay. All right. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah, I figured I'd try streaming some stuff. That way it will help uh, motivate people or maybe inspire them to start trying some stuff in Croctile 3D and that sort of thing. This pillar is very flat. So I wonder, maybe we can kind of round it out. That might be a interesting challenge. But first I want to just add a little more to the sides of this. Let's take uh, let's take these and copy those, paste them, move 
from over there. So now we got more of the side going on. That's cool. I like the look of that. Oh, we need some uh, tiles underneath there. Get under there. There you go. So let's try and round out this uh, pillar. That's going to be a challenge. I wonder if we could do that. Um, hmm. Okay, I have to think about how I'm going to do this. Because it has transparent bits along the edge. I could just like copy the 2D art and then just modify it in a, an available space over here somewhere maybe. Maybe I could do that. That might be the simplest solution and then I could just kind of reshape it in the 3D. So maybe I'll try doing that. I'll just select this stuff over here so I have stuff to work with. Um, I don't know if this is going to work, but I'll just try it and see what happens. <laughs> Sometimes you just got to experiment and learn as you go, you know. Sometimes you just don't have the answers to everything and you got to ask ask the questions and and see uh see where your mind takes you. Okay, so I'll copy that, and where should I put it? It's another question. Where should I put it? Where should I put it? Okay, let's see. I'll just I'll paste it there, and then I'll just kind of move it around. Maybe, hmm, maybe I'll put it there. Actually, no. Nope. Uh, yeah, I'll just put it there. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Okay, I pasted it there. Now I'm going to let's hide this. And get a little bit more room here. I'm working on one monitor. I just, I just have my laptop, so I have like other stuff open it like to the sides of these windows. <laughs> Uh, so everything's kind of squished on my screen. Otherwise, I'd have this window much larger so that I could work with things better. But anyways, I need to figure out how to um, convert this. Okay, this... All right, I have an idea, I guess. I'll just select this part let me zoom in a little bit select this part and I will just kind of cut it and move it actually I'll just keep it in the same spot why not but I'm going to stretch it a little bit oops Try that again. I'm going to stretch it like that. I don't know. I'm kind of messing up the pixels, but whatever. I don't. I don't care. <laughs> okay. So now it fills up 
the whole spot. But also, what I'm going to do now is <clears throat> I'm going to add to it. I just noticed that the shadow is on the wrong side over here. You got the sun going this way on the left of the column, and then on this block we have the sun going from the right, creating a shadow on the left. So it's kind of uh, weird. <laughs> Anyways, so what I'm going to do now is just kind of add add more. So I guess I will select this area and then just kind of create like a base color to work with. Okay, and this is gonna be like more of the shadowed area, more of the back side of it, that sort of thing. So I'm just gonna create some uh, similar, similar detail work. I'm gonna uh, just kind of get inspired by the details that are already there okay so that's basically like the dark color and then I guess there's like some edge to everything right there I don't know, you can maybe add some more highlights things maybe do something like that just to make it more inter interesting more details that sort of stuff. Maybe put some stray pixels here and there just to kind of uh, do that. Okay, so yeah, whatever. That's, that's good. And then kind of continue over here. Something like that. Just kind of details that kind of suggest what might be there. It makes your mind kind of Think about stuff be like hey what, what's going on there's some lines there and some shadows and my mind's trying my mind's trying to figure out what's what's happening what it's seeing so yeah something like that I guess that'll work maybe we'll put a line there because it's kind of like a brick or maybe we'll put a line there I don't know keep the size kind of similar I don't know yeah okay so Although the top edge is lighter than the darker edge, as you can see over there, maybe we'll switch that around, do something like that. All right, so maybe put a little bit more highlight there. Okay, so whatever. So now we got that side done, and I guess we could do the other side as well. <clears throat> so I'm going to select that portion right there just kind of put down a base color I don't know maybe that's too light of base color maybe we'll do that instead okay so now we have this stuff here okay so now I'm gonna try and imitate imitate the characteristics of the this stuff right here okay I'm just kind of copying the style and details and that sort of thing just kind of creating more of it and there's like this edge here so let's kind of create an edge there and an edge kind of there as well and maybe some stray pixels kind of same thing that they did over here just kind of making stuff a little more interesting uh, I guess this could be a little lighter there because they did that over there for some reason oh I guess because it's round Okay. All right. Make the lines go up. Maybe do some of this. Uh, maybe not right there, but over there. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Just to rough things in, I'm doing this kind of quick, you know, but whatever. Maybe put a line there and there. Just, you know, kind of follow the same pattern. Yeah, life uh, life has a lot of patterns and stuff. <laughs> okay, this color, I need this color up here. Because, uh, yeah. Uh, I 
Let's set a work. I think that'll work. What what happens when it meets on the other side? That's the thing. Maybe we need to go a little bit darker on this side. I think we need to go a little darker. So I'm gonna add that and that and maybe some of that. Maybe a line there to make it look like a brick. Maybe some highlights up there because they have highlights over there. And <clears throat> let's see, what else? I'm going to do that and that. So we're just quickly doing some detail work. So that looks looks okay to me for now. We'll see how it works. You know, um, we haven't we're, we're gonna have to uh, add this to the 3D scene and work with it, shape it, and that sort of stuff, and see how it goes. And if we need to modify it, then we can modify it and that sort of stuff. Maybe add some dark pixels there because it has to meet. It has to meet on the other side. You know, it's gonna be round. Uh, I don't know. Let's try that. I guess that's good. Okay, so we kind of like flattened it out, basically. That's what we did. Basically, took this pillar right here, and we stretched it out, and we added more to the sides because we're going to make it round. <clears throat> Okay, so Hezcore wants to know if you missed any stuff with the cat dog thing. And no, I'm the, in this stream I'm just doing something different. I've taken some artwork that other people have made and I am importing them into Crocodile and translating it into a 3D form and that sort of thing. Just to show as an example as to like what you can do with pre-existing artwork that people have made. And I went to opengameart.org to look through the open source or, you know, creative commons artwork that people have made and, and stuff like that. Hello, Jez, Jose, Jose, Joseph, Joseph Dust. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. How's it going? Anyways, this is Crocodile 3D. <laughs> Okay, so we, we have this flat pillar tile here, and now we want to change it. So maybe we should just get rid of it or move it out of the way so we have... Oh, what? Yeah, let's move it over there. So we want to put a little uh, tile here. Oops. Let's go back over here. We could select... Actually, we could just select it all. Okay, where's our 3D crosshead? It's like the whole thing. And then we can kind of like shape it. Hmm. So I could just place it like that. And then I could just like split stuff up if I wanted to. Like I could split it there and then, oops. I saved it. Split it there and then split it there. Adjust this value so that I can get a little bit more precision. And where should I split it? I guess I could, yeah, that would be a good place to split it. Split it there, 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 split it there. There, 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 there. Okay, so I've like split it all these tile, uh, this one tile up into several tiles, as you can see. And now I could shape it a little bit better. <clears throat> I guess I could just. Um, how do I want to do this? I didn't 
have to split it there. I could have split it other places. <laughs> I mean, we could split it some more places. But, hmm. I'm trying to think what the best way is to do this because I haven't really done this before. I'm just kind of experimenting. Is that the middle of it? I think that's the middle of it. So split it down there. Maybe it's better just to split it a whole bunch of places. <laughs> Actually, we got one, two, three. One, two, three on that side. I guess that'll work. I mean, this is just an example. You could split it however much you want. You know, however however rounded you want it. It's up to you. Did I split it in the right spot? I don't know. Okay, so we have all these tiles split up. A code three code code in. <laughs> I'm doing all right. Just kind of experimenting here, trying to create a stream, see uh, how it goes, and maybe inspire some people to check out Crocodile 3D and that sort of thing. So we have all these different tiles here. I'm gonna I'm gonna move it out over here. Why not? Although I don't. What the heck? <laughs> oh, I had this. I had that selected. Gotta make sure the camera base selection is on, so that it only only selects what's in front of us. What's in the front? I'm gonna just move it out here. Why not? Right. And actually, let's move it back because <laughs> I want to make sure that I size it correctly. So I'm going to change that and just go one, two. That's about one. How big is that? That's about one tile size, is it? Yeah. One, two, three, four. OK, I'll put it about there. Okay, now let's see. I'm going to. Uh, how am I going to do this? I need to like rotate stuff. I mean, there's like several several ways you could do this. I could just like move the vertices around manually, or I could actually just try and like fold things. Like I could take this side here and like I could put the crosshair there if I'm like smart about it. If I know how to calculate stuff, I could go into the transforms and then I could use this rotate thing. So we've got the X, Y, and Z axis. So I could adjust the Y axis to make it rotate around the Y. Um, X, axes. I can do that. But how much? If there's six sides, what angle is that? Mm. Let's see. We can just do like 45 and then that and then that. That might be okay. Which way does it go? I think it rotates that way, maybe? Or does it have to be negative? I don't know. Yeah, OK. I guess that worked. <laughs> and then I could uh, select these, put the crosshair there. And I guess another 45 is enough to move it like that. And then I can just kind of deselect those. Move the crosshair over there. And then I'm going to rotate it again. Right. Okay, so now that's kind of rounded. 
Hey, that actually worked pretty well. <laughs> okay, I can move this. Although, hmm. Should I have the front flat? Because if it rotates from there, the, the, it's going to look very thin if it gets to the back. So I think I need to um, just rotate these right here. So in this case, I'll make it negative 45, and I'll just rotate it like that. It's going to be bigger than one tile, though. I could also I could all I could always resize it I guess uh, and then we we'll just select these put it there apply that but now we have a side missing so what are we gonna do about that and also we need to like make the inner or the we have to uh, what's the word there's like different layers to this pillar we have like this top portion and then this other portion here and then this thinner portion so we're gonna have to resize the 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 parts as well so it isn't just a cylinder like that you know we need to like taper it or whatever whatever the correct w terminology is stack it I don't know <laughs> Um, we can like copy these other portions and paste them over there maybe just to kind of fill it in I wonder if that would look alright so how many sides do we need we just need uh, two sides I think mm. maybe we'll do these sides we can just try it, see how it looks, and if it doesn't look good, we could just remove it, right? Okay, so how do we? We just copy paste it, um, and then we can mirror it, um, reverse it, and then we can rotate it. Wait a second, I didn't calculate that correctly. Um, oh, wait, yeah, we, now we could rotate it this way, like that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it is round. It is round. <laughs> Okay, so now we need to thin the inner portions. You know, another thing uh, you could do is you could kind of select all of this. Select all of this over here. Just make sure everything's selected. Select all the faces. Oh, there's some faces here as well. Select that. So now we got all uh, the sides of it selected. We could. position the tile in the center of it oops I just des deselected everything <laughs> okay we could do that and then we can how do I do this hold shift and position that. Where is my grid rounding value? Okay, just the grid rounding value. Position the crosshair in the center. That's not the center. That is, is that the center? Hmm. Doesn't look like the center. But the. Hmm, wait a second. 
Move it like there. Move it right. Hmm. What's going on? <laughs> Anyways, that's where the origin point's going to be. I could always change it later if I need to. Then I just right click, go faces, create object. So now it's an object. Okay. And if I go into the scenes, I could rename it pillar. Pillar, I think that's how you spell it. Look at that. And now I could like select this and then I can draw a bunch of them. Boom, boom, boom. I could also rotate them. Anyways, put them sideways. Okay, so there's that. But the good thing about this is I could edit one of them and it'll edit all of them as, as at the same time, basically. So if I have multiple pillars, that's a good thing. So now, and also while I'm editing them, I don't think I'll be able to edit other stuff. So that's good. So let's select select everything. And then deselect the bottom parts. Why not? Maybe I should make an option where it hides everything else while you're editing an object. That might be a good option to have just so that other stuff doesn't get in the way, like this. <laughs> oh, did I want to select that? I wanted to keep these selected. By the way, I created Crocodile 3D. If you're watching and you don't know what it is, I developed this program and you could use tiles and place tiles in the scene like this. Like, ch -ch -ch -ch. And then you could like edit them and that sort of thing. You could draw them and then erase them, whatever. So that's what we're doing. I'm using some pre existing artwork that uh, someone made. Cert. From, uh, I found it on opengameart.org. And now I'm just kind of converting it into like 3D because that's cool. Yeah. So I want to like resize this stuff. And I guess I could just um, center it across here. How do I do that? I think I press. Um, let's see here. I know there's a way to do it. If I press C, that's the camera. Shift C, yes, Shift C does it. Shift C centers the crosshair to it. So now I'm gonna go into the transform tab and then I can resize this. So I'll resize it on the X and Z axis. But how much should I, should I resize it by? That's the question. Mm, 0 0.8, maybe. We could try that. We could always undo it and redo it if we need to. So let's uh, let's try that. Oh, wait, what? Oh, I need to do it on the x-axis. I gotcha. I don't know what I was thinking. Let's try that. Okay, so now we have it look like that. That's kind of cool. And then we could, I guess that'll work, right? Looks like a good amount. We still need to resize the other portion as well. So we'll 
uh, shift alt and drag and deselect those and deselect those and those or we could just click them mm, yeah okay so then we'll just apply it again I guess why not boom look at that it's a 3d pillar that we converted from this flat pillar how cool is that it's got dimension but there is gaps that we need to fill in so let's do that we created that tile here that we could use and we can just kind of click here or click there and then we could kind of place this somewhere <laughs> see where should we place it we're gonna have to uh, do some some editing here let's see what should we do uh, <laughs> Split it right there. And move this over here. We can click and drag it. Hold shift to snap it. Click and drag there. Snap it over there. Where's that other one? There it is. guess that solves that and then we can just kind of do uh, we can just kind of resize it like we did the other th in the other parts hold shift and C to center it and then just apply it oh wait copy it paste then apply then move it up boom there we go look at that that's cool and now we can just kind of check this out we could copy all of these things look at this we can copy that paste it and then we can like move it up <laughs> all the way up here we could flip it and then reverse it and then just kind of move it up here right there Look at that. But you're, but you're saying, hey, but it's light. It should be dark. Well, check this out. You just go over here, select that tile, go into draw mode, and then hold Alt and left click to apply that tile to the existing tiles in the scene. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Wow. That's amazing. I mean, if you wanted, you could also like create your own, create the um, uh, you could create like a unique tile somewhere on the tile set, and then like shade this part if you wanted to, because right now it's kind of light in the back. It kind of breaks up the shadow there. So if you wanted to, you could kind of mm, add more to it. I mean, I could show you how to do that right now. I guess we could just kind of copy this over. Let's see, get the selection tool, hold control, and to align it to the grid. And then we could copy that, paste it, maybe put it right there. I don't know. And then uh, let's see. Hmm. Uh, 
I'm just doing this really quick just as an example maybe mm, I don't know something like that just as an example it doesn't have to be this exact way and then you can select this and then maybe if I apply it oops I'm in edit mode if I apply it like that it's kind of oops wrong one it's kind of shaded now that's pretty cool isn't it how will it work there does that look okay on that side Mm, yeah, I guess that'll work. That's kind of cool. Yeah, that actually worked pretty well. <laughs> yeah, I actually like that. That's pretty cool. Okay, so... <clears throat> yeah. It doesn't have a top, though. I mean, we could create a top to it. But aren't pillars supposed to be like supporting stuff? I guess all pillars. I guess if it like broke off or something like that. So let's do that. I could have just copied the other one over. Anyways, we could copy this, paste it right up there. Yep. <clears throat> let's put back on that other one. There we go. Okay. Look at that. That's pretty cool. So now we have this pillar. And let's exit out of object edit mode. We can select it. We can just kind of put it back in there somewhere. Wherever it belongs. <clears throat> so that's kind of cool. And we could also just add more of them, you know, wherever they need to go. Like, uh, <clears throat> if one should be there, we can place it over there. And we can delete these these tiles. We don't need those. So that's cool. Pretty cool, huh? So I had another tile set that I showed at the beginning. So maybe we should switch over and try another tile set I'm going to save that and <clears throat> actually I'll just build on to this one who cares I'll, I'll just add the tile set to this whatever so this is the other tile set you can have multiple tile sets see I just added a, another tile set <clears throat> but this one has a bit of perspective to it so like this one's really this one's a lot more difficult to work with compared to this one this one's just side view has one one uh, one side that you can see so a little bit simpler to work with but this one has you got the top side and then front side and it's they're trying to create like dimensions the, the uh, perception of multiple dimensions in a 2d space we want to convert this into a 3d space so we have to kind of remove what they did remove that uh, illusion from the 2d work because we're just going to actually use a 3 3d space you know so yeah so how are we going to do that? That's the question. The question that you want answered. Um, I'm thinking right now. <laughs> OK, good. They're positioned on the grid. That's not too bad, I guess. They have some. They got portions that are meant from the for the front, and then you got portions for the that are meant for the side. Maybe I should focus on a building as an example. <clears throat> like 
how would we convert this roof? Right? How would we how would we handle that? And that's kind of I think that's our best example that we have to work with here. Uh, but they don't offer too much extra space on this tile set. So I'm gonna have to create some. I could resize the tile set. Let's see here. Uh, we'll just add some to the height. Just make it 32, 32. Why? Okay. Oops. I'm going to remove all this. How do I do it? I'll just I'll delete that. Now it's all transparent. Anyways, let's just um, I'm going to copy some of this. Oh, I don't want to do that. <laughs> We can close that. I am going to just copy this stuff. Copy it, paste. Okay, now I guess that'll work. We're going to kind of um, do stuff with it. I don't know where to put it. I'll put it there, I guess. Okay, so actually, we probably don't even need most of these tiles. We just need the texture on those tiles. Maybe we'll need these front ones. Uh, I don't know. Trying to think at the same time as I do it and also talk, explain what I'm doing and what I'm thinking. <laughs> okay, so we have this, we have these tiles. I'm trying to figure out how to split things up. kind of move things around just so that I have um, an idea as to what pieces I have basically. I'm going to move that over there. And these other pieces are basically all just the same thing, right? So we could probably just remove these. Because they're all just, they're basically the same thing. We don't need those. And for the roof, let's see, what should we do about the roof? Um, we have like this, this top portion here. I mean, this is basically all that we have. Everything else is based off of these two tiles right here. So we just have that. And then we have this front part that's kind of angled, but the angle is basically just, um, it's basically just this portion over here just kind of shifted up. And also has a little bit of brickwork there. So maybe I'll just, um, maybe I'll just copy those down like so, just so we have a reference for that. And I think we could just get rid of all this other stuff. I think that will be fine if we do that. So now we have just these basic tiles here that have a general um, have 
where they have the general pieces that we need to construct the building. Like all the other variations are basically, basically built off of, off of these. So, okay, so how, I wanna create just a few more. I want to create one tile here that consists of these bricks basically. Okay? So I just want like these bricks. Let's just put some bricks there and there. Seems like they go up about that amount. And yeah, whatever. That's, that's I guess that's all right. Actually, hmm. I'm thinking. It's I'm just doing this really quick. I don't I don't really care too much about where things are positioned. Whatever. It's just an example. Uh, Yeah, maybe something like that will work, whatever. Um, so we have that tile. Maybe I'll copy that over and uh, let's see how, the, how does that work. I'll copy that and paste it over here. Okay, now. I want Oh, but that the the roof of it is going to kind of jut out a little bit. We can make the roof jut out. And it'll hang over <coughs> the uh the bricks, okay? See, like things to think about while you're designing stuff. And they'll kind of be like the shadow of it, I guess, right? So I guess let's start building things just to have something to work with while we're designing things. So I could select these tiles and maybe, let's see, where should I put it? Just a grid rounding value. I'll just put it here. Put one there, put one there, put one there. I could have just selected all of them and just did something like that. Wait a second. That's not going to work, is it? There's one pillar between the windows. <laughs> okay, so. Copy these. How do I want to position this? I want it so that I can create pillars in between the windows, but I just want one pillar. I mean, 
if we can modify it a bit so it doesn't have to be exactly, you know, it doesn't have to be exactly the same. Right? It doesn't need to be exactly the same. I think I could just, I think it'd be cool to like do like half of the tile because we can make, we can do like smaller tiles. Of the wall there and then we could do the other side and this is what you gotta do when you're converting pre-existing artwork into 3D, right? You gotta make some adjustments. That's weird. Why is it looking like that? That's, oh, cause I, cause I flipped them. Okay, whatever. Could have just, well, hmm. Just do that, I guess. And then, <clears throat> so we have that. I guess that'll work. Let's let's test it out. Select these and. Kind of draw all over it. Actually, let's just move that over a little bit more space in between the pillars, but that's fine. Wait a second. It's not going to work either, is it? Or is it? <laughs> I don't know. I'll just leave it for now because I have, I have about like half an hour left. About half an hour left to go. Anyways. So I can put some tiles up there. And what are we going to do about the roof? We have this edge that, that pokes out. So I created these tiles here. Let's use these instead. Hmm. But if the roof is slanted, I'm going to make these just straight, I guess. I mean, I guess they don't have to be straight, but I'll make them straight just to uh, get the perspective straight down. And I'll 
adjust this so that it's straight. And I'll probably end up removing the bottom portion right there because uh, we'll just be using the 3D to bend the geometry instead of actually drawing it in 2D like they have it here. So um, we'll just have it like that. And then maybe we'll create another tile to the side like that and then like a continuation of it basically something like that and <clears throat> the same thing with the the roof we'll just copy that over um, like that Maybe we'll put it over there. And then we'll just kind of continue the pattern of it. I guess that pattern looks about the same. I don't know what's happening here, though. I guess we need more. We need one more tile, I guess, for that. I guess it should go there, and then uh, put it like that. Mm. Mm, I guess that's actually doing that like that. I think it's fine like that. <laughs> Maybe we only need one because it repeats. And we could just flip it in 3D. Pretty sure that's what we can do. So I'll just do that. Pretty sure we could just have it flipped. So let's go over here. We just um, we could draw it. It's gonna be like that, and then we could angle it up. But how much? I mean, easiest way is 45 degree. What's what's between that 45? You go up three spaces, and then let's try 30 degrees. I guess we could rotate it. Where's the rotate? Right here, X, Y, Z. So we need to rotate it on the Z axis. Let's try 30 degrees like that. Oh, but then it goes like that on the side. You know what? I'm just going to I'm going to do it this way. that and we'll make it go out a little bit maybe that's too much but whatever oh I guess I could have done the front part of it as well <laughs> I'm going to 
going to split that, split that, and split that. And okay, what did I do? I think I duplicated that. So I'll delete that. So basically the same process here. We'll just go select that. Okay, so now we have this front part to the roof. I'm doing this quickly. <laughs> and if you're just joining, here's some other stuff that we created. I converted this pillar. I converted this pillar right here, this flat 2D pillar. I copied it, I flattened it out, I added more tiles here. And then I added those to the scene and then I rounded it out and created that. And I also placed those other tiles as well. That's pretty cool, huh? And now what we're doing is basically using this other tile set that someone made. And we're converting this building right here, this blue roof building, into tiles that are more suitable for a 3D environment instead of just 2D environment because that's what it was originally designed for. It was designed for like a 2D game, I guess. But now it's 3D. And I'm using Crocodile 3D. I developed it. It's available on Steam. There's also a non-Steam version. You can download it and try it out. Go to crocodile3d.com. Anyways, let's continue on. So I have like these tiles here. I could just pick a tile and then I could like place it in the scene. Boom, boom. Just like that. But what I want to do is I want to make kind of shadowed underneath so I need to create more tiles for that I'm just gonna make a, a black tile there just for some shadow area underneath the underneath the roof like that yeah, I guess that'll work. And I can just do that and then raise it and raise it. Whoops. Is that right? Yeah, okay. I was getting confused. So we got this uh, some roof jutting out but now we need some like shadowed areas you could probably just use like a transparent tile and overlay it maybe I don't know it's kind of an idea but we won't do that we'll just create some extra tiles let's see here we could copy this tile And then paste it over. I guess I'll put it here. And paste it over here. I guess it has to go up there, up there, up there.
Okay, so the plan is to shade it. We don't have we don't have much of a palette here. So we do that. I guess that'll work. And then basically the same thing. So I'll just select this portion, I'll select like half of it. And I will do that, that, and then I'll kind of draw it like that. Guess that'll work. I guess we don't need that other top. Well, actually, you know, it needs to be further down, doesn't it? Now that now that I think about it, this tile should be over here, like that, and then I could just. Copy this over here. Something like that. I guess that probably that probably works. I probably don't need that other tile. But so now we can go back into tile set and just kind of put that there. And that there and there and there. Or wait a second. There. There we go. And uh, for that. I just move that down. Actually, we'll just move that down slightly. Oh, wait a second. Hmm. Yeah, we can do that. We do that, just do that, and then one, two, something like that. We go into the UVs, make sure the UVs all correct. You could adjust their U UVs if you wanted. It doesn't have to be square. You can make them like uh, angled out to the side like that. So that's kind of cool. So now there's like this shadow underneath there. And whatever. You can adjust it however you want, right? Maybe we could copy these. Um, and paste it down just to have it 
further to the side and then change the UV size to 8 by 8 and then you can just select that and do that so that's kind of cool oh another thing another cool thing you could do actually no <laughs> you could angle the crosshair if you wanted but all right I'll just do it this way so that's kind of cool looking So it'd be cool if I could edit the corner of it. Like I could, uh, I could just copy, I could just stretch these out. Like that. Is that the same tile? I thought I was using that tile. I don't know. Where are those UVs? Oh, they're using that. They're using that. I'll put it there. You flip them, um, mirror them. Rotate it, that sort of thing. way is this is that the right way I want to make sure that it's the right yeah okay
these grass and other stuff. I guess is this the uh, I guess we could use this grass. <laughs> oh, okay. That was confusing. Okay, that's better. kind of modify these if I take these or actually not those but these and copy that where are they Okay, so we have the top portions, and then we have the sides. Oops. I'll just keep it like that. And then that'll work I don't need so many okay so we have that and now I guess we could erase that and that and we probably probably don't need too many, all of these but whatever let's see how it looks if I go back into tile set and then I zoom in and select a one of these oh that's kind of weird um, Uh, let's just do that for now. 
Let's uh, put it up here, maybe. This is just really quick, you know, nothing too fancy. <laughs> That's weird. I guess we could add some details to that. That looks weird. Whatever, kind of simple. <laughs> you get you can get more complicated with it, like I did with this pillar over here, and model all the sides. Right, you could do that. I don't have much time left though. In this stream, just got a few minutes left. Anyways, I think that'll do it for this stream. We do all this stuff that we just did. And let me save that. And here's another example of things you could do if you're not aware of this program. Crack Tile 3D. This is something else that I made. There's the tile set for that. And what else can I make? This is what we were working on yesterday. We made this little guy. So that's kind of cool. I could also turn on the wireframe. You can see that. And what else? Can make stuff like this. Here's the tile set. You can just place the tiles. You can change the tile size. And then you go into the scene and you know place them. That sort of thing. start building environments and scenes and that kind of stuff what else and then there's this thing that we've been modeling yeah And there's a gallery of work that people have made on crocodile3d.com. You can take a look at what other people have made with it. And you could try making stuff with it. You can download it and that sort of thing. So yeah, that's it. That's all for now. Check it out. I don't know if I'm going to make any more streams this week, but maybe next week. Depends. You could subscribe or whatever. That sort of thing. Maybe I'll upload this to YouTube on the Crocodile YouTube channel. And that way it'll be archived and that sort of thing. So, yeah. Hopefully that was a little helpful or 
insightful, maybe motivates you to try creating some 3D stuff. If you're like a pixel artist or something like that, you know, this tool is kind of, uh, I guess, geared more towards that type of mindset, low poly pixel art type of stuff, constructing scenes with tile sets and that sort of thing. But you could do a little more complicated stuff with it, like I just showed you with some of those models and things like that. Depends, you know, how, how, uh, depends what you want to do with it, I guess. <laughs> so yeah, that's it for now and see ya.